Swahili is the most practical language. Not because it's big, it was one of the big languages. No, it's not. But it's already being spoken in different countries. So you might say Zulu is big, but it's only spoken in South Africa. But once you go with a language that is already in different countries, then you are not going to start from zero. Hence, we have made a call. As also EFF. very similar to Nguni languages, yes. by the way. So we have made a call and you'll find some dialects of Zulu as well mm. in Swahili. So we have made a call to the minister uh, in the past as EFF for Swahili to be taught in schools. And once we start teaching Swahili as South Africa, then we'll be able to call all of African continent to start teaching Swahili. And once we've got a common language that we can use to communicate amongst ourselves and not use colonial languages, the unity of Africa is going to be easy. Now we are divided uh, between the Francophones and the Anglophones. We are divided through colonial languages. Let's push this language and make sure that we've got some starting point and the most practical thing to do now which the minister and the president should support if they're interested in uniting african people is to say let's teach swahili and encourage other countries to start teaching swahili they then we have canvassed the first ground of dealing with the most basic which is communication because in most cases we agree but we talk past each other because of language